This is Christy Vandervoort and Donna Durham, my best friend from Nashville, Tennessee. And we are welcoming you to the Healing Her podcast where we want to share tools with Daughters of the King to help navigate the ups and downs of everyday life. Welcome to the Healing Her podcast. Life comes at us fast and keeping our balance can take real work. What would it look like to be emotionally and spiritually strong? Listen in as best friends Christy and Donna share stories of God's healing work in their lives. Donna is a licensed therapist and Christy is a seasoned communicator. Together, they want to offer valuable tools and stories to help navigate the ups and downs of everyday life. Do you have any ups and downs, Donna? I have some ups and downs. <laughs> I'm really high on positivity, but I also have ups and downs. Yeah. I uh, would agree with that. Like positivity, I am a half full kind of gal. Girl, me too. And I'm a cheerleader in my heart. Yeah, we yes, both are. we are. However, I've gone through a lot of hard things. Yes, we th- both have gone through a lot of hard things. Yeah, I think this past year, we've, uh, oh. calendar year, we've lost three of our parents and had a cancer diagnosis. Yes. So dealing with hard things is um, not foreign to me. I know. It has been a tough year for you guys. Yeah. A lot of tears. Yes. And over the past 20 years, we have both experienced all kinds of things. Health issues, moves, mental health issues, faith crisis, job loss, career change, friendship changes. Yeah. All of that. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of downs. Mm -hmm. A A lot lot of downs. A lot of ups, Mm -hmm. meaning... Kids got married, mm-hmm. grandbabies. I'm a Gigi to five grandbabies. I'm currently expecting my first grandchild. Yes. And I'm going to be a Didi. A Didi and, and a Gigi. A Didi and a Gigi. We could do a podcast about that. We could. I bet we will. I bet we will too. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all watch out. We're going to do the Gigi and the Didi show. <laughs> <laughs> and that will be really fun. And... <laughs> So my husband is Jeff Vandervoort, fourth grade sweetheart, cutest mm-hmm. boy in fourth grade, and I've wanted to marry him my whole life, and I feel like the luckiest girl in the world because I am. Yeah. 36 years. 36 years. Yeah, this That's, week. Yeah. Um, I am married to Jamie Durham, favorite person of all time forever. He's on all awesome. Days. He's awesome. Uh, he is also my southern man, and we will celebrate 30 years married in January. Kudos. Kudos. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. And we have three kids and two daughter-in-laws and we're expecting our first grandbaby. Um, And Ranger. And Ranger. And Marty. And our granddaughter cat, Marty. (laughs) (laughs) We can't leave Marty out. We can't. Right. So we have four grown children. They're all married and they live across the United States, mm-hmm. but one, thank goodness, lives here in Pella, Iowa, mm-hmm. where we're recording today. Mm-hmm. And we have um, our son and his wife live in Nashville currently, but we'll move to Florida soon. And then our daughter lives in Nashville, and we have a son and daughter-in-law in Washington, D.C. So, travel. Yeah. Travel. Travel, travel, That's travel. Right. Frequent flyer miles. Yeah. And negotiating that whole like, oh, I'm the parent of adults now. What does that look like? That's another challenge. Yeah. And I think we'll be doing an episode on holidays, Mm -hmm. married children and holidays. Mm -hmm. And what are your expectations? That's right. What's the right thing to do? Yeah. I think I might need to lay on the couch. Uh Donna Durham therapist. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know what it's like having a best friend be a marriage and family therapist? It's... It's it's phenomenal. Aww. Yeah. it's a, Well, everyone, you need to know this. Donna and I talk every week. Yeah. Come rain or shine. Come yeah. up or down. Yeah, that's right. We talk every week. Yeah, that's right. We started that, I think, because Christy had started working full time mm-hmm. and we weren't able to like chat in the middle of the day or whatever. And so we value our friendship so much. We decided mm-hmm. we got to schedule a time. So for a long time, it was 6 a.m. on Fridays. 6 a.m. on Fridays. Yeah. And we pray together. Mm -hmm. And through COVID, that was a a powerful prayer time for us. It really was. It was a powerful prayer time. And we pray for each other's kids. And we pray Mm -hmm. for each other. Um, Our marriages. we also laugh a lot. We laugh a lot. 
We laugh a lot because we're funny. <laughs> and that's a reason why you might want to keep listening. Yes, absolutely. So where do we go from here? What's this whole Healing Her podcast going to be about, Donna Durham? I know. It's such a good question. So, you know, we just, we're, we're both mature believers in Christ. Mm-hmm. And we believe we have some encouragement to offer honestly, anybody who wants to listen, but the people that are, that tend to ask us for help tend to be women and that are also Christ followers. As a therapist, um, I'm a Christian and my niche tends to be women from a faith background, um, who are coming in to work through some kind of struggle. And I consider myself a guide. I walk Mm -hmm. alongside them on whatever journey they are on currently. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we want to be sharing the things that we have learned in our faith. Um, one thing that we we really believe is we can get stronger. Mm-hmm. That the um, storms of life that took us down, that took me down earlier in my life, they, it doesn't take me down the same way because I feel like I have some tools. I feel like my faith in Christ is stronger. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've, I've done some healing work to where I'm, I'm way more okay when hard things happen. Right, right, right. They don't have to keep us down in the soup. Right. We can work our way out. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I think for myself, you know, I'm not a marriage and family therapist. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a communicator and I love I love Jesus Mm -hmm. and I love how he's rescued me. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I spent a lot of years in the soup Mm -hmm. and, um, believing lies in my head about myself, about Jeff, about what other people thought about Mm -hmm. me, what God thought about me. Mm -hmm. And so to be rescued like a damsel in distress, Mm -hmm. he really did do that for Mm me. And, um, I just feel like my job on the planet is to tell people that he loves them and mm-hmm. he can, if he did it for me, Christy D, yeah, he can do it for anybody. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And that is so much my story too. I think one of the things I want to be sure we communicate is we don't think that if you follow these guidelines, mm. you're not going to have any trouble in life mm. um, or that things are going to be perfect. Um, I don't, I believe we live in a fallen world and that life is hard and God is faithful. Um, and so a lot of our, our time together on the podcast will be about how to get through the hard, how to get through the hard. Yeah. And that, that looks different for everyone. Mm -hmm. So my stories are not going to be your stories, Mm -hmm. obviously. However, I think that there are common threads that run through women's lives. Mm -hmm. You know, when we get married, we have expectations. Mm -hmm. When we have children, we think, wow, this is going to be so wonderful. But then you don't know how to care for a child and yourself at the same time. Yeah. Plus a husband and laundry and all this stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's overwhelming, right? It's a lot. So there are a lot of good things that bring hard. Mm -hmm. So it's not just all bad things Mm -hmm. like losing three parents in a year and a cancer diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Um, Sometimes the hard comes with the very, very good. Yes, absolutely. And we praise God through those hard times. Absolutely. Because we need to um, stay in relationship with the Lord and be outward focusing, loving people because we don't get through this life without being wounded. Yes, that's right. Totally agree with that. So that's what the podcast is about. Yeah. So we hope that you will follow along. We hope to release an episode every week. Um, we're going to we try and do that. We're going to try to do that. <laughs> and we would love it if you would even give us ideas of like, what would you like us to talk about? Right. Right. So, so we have a Facebook and an Instagram page, The Healing Her Podcast. Yep. And we're working on ways to communicate. But I think that you can message us, give us your ideas. Yeah. And what are you... What are you struggling with? Yes. I mean, we've got a lot of things to talk about, but it may not be your exact situation. So thanks for listening to this first episode. Yes. And we'll see you next week. That brings us to the end of this episode. Please check out the show notes for tools you can use to navigate the ups and downs in your life. 
As always, thanks for listening to the Healing Her podcast. If you enjoy our show, please subscribe, rate, and review us on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen. And be sure to come back next week for more healing conversations. You can also follow along on Instagram and Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. This podcast was created by Donna Durham and Christy Vandervoort. It was produced and recorded by Monty Godike.